Hello, welcome to another Research Methods for the Biosciences screencast for SPSS. This screencast covers section 9.5 correlations, including 9.6 Speeman's rank correlation and 9.7 Pearson's product moment correlation. Research biologists are always trying to figure out how biological systems function. This path to discovery often starts with an observation that changes in a biological trait may be linked to changes in another trait or an environmental factor. This is often detected by the eye seeing a possible relationship when the data is plotted as a scatter graph. Here, it looks highly likely that the shell hardness is related to how much supplement is eaten. Often, however, many other biological and environmental factors can affect the trait we are interested in, and it would be difficult to be sure there is a relationship with so much noise about. You can see these points do not form a perfect straight line. This is where we can use the Spearman's rank correlation and the person's product moment correlation to give an indication whether the relationship you see is real. The person's product moment test is used on parametric data. If you do not know if your data is parametric, then check out my screencast called Is My Data Normally Distributed? If your data is not parametric or you are unsure, then you can use the Spearman's rank correlation. I've already entered the data into SPSS from table 9.8. So let's do the tests. We can perform both tests at the same time as follows. Track up to the Analyze menu and click to reveal a drop down menu. Track down to Correlate and click Bivariate on the menu sublist that appears. A window should open that looks like this. In the window you will see two boxes. The box on the left contains all our variables that we have in our datasheet. The box on the right needs to contain the variables that we're going to analyse. So my first task is to drag and drop my two variables from the left box to the right hand box. Now I need to select the tests, which I can do in the correlation coefficients area. We can see that the Pearson's product moment test has already been selected. I'm now going to select the Spearman's rank correlation box by clicking on it. If you're doing a one-tailed test, you'll need to click the one-tailed radio button. Most people, however, will be doing a two-tail test and that radio button is already selected. I can now press OK to ask SPSS to perform the test. In the output window, two boxes appear, each summarising the results from one of the tests. Both boxes give us a value for the correlation coefficient and the probability that our null hypothesis is correct. The correlation coefficient is a number between 1 and minus 1. That tells us how closely our data is linearly correlated with 1 or minus 1 meaning perfectly correlated, while 0 means the points are not correlated at all. As you can see, I've drawn some scatter graphs to illustrate these points. The middle graph, which has an R value of 1, shows that all the data points lie on a straight line. But as the R value decreases from 0 0.85 to 0 0.7, you can see the scatter of the points around the line increases until we eventually reach an R value of 0, where you cannot functionally draw a line through it at all. The points are totally scattered. A minus correlation coefficient suggests that as x increases, y decreases, so the slope is in the opposite direction to a positive R value. Check out the book for more information. We can see the result for the Pearson's product moment correlation is 0 0.994. It looks as if our data is correlated, but is this due to random chance? After all, our null hypothesis states that there is no relationship between the data. This is where our second value, the probability that the results are due to random chance, is important. So what is the meaning of the p-value? A p-value of 1 means we can accept the null hypothesis as true, whereas a p-value of 0 means we can accept the null hypothesis as untrue. As we travel from a p-value of 1 to 0, the transition point between true and untrue is set at 0.05 in the biological sciences. The smaller the p-value below 0.05, the more confidence we can be in rejecting the null hypothesis. We can see here the value is given at 0.00, that is it's below 0.001, suggesting our results are unlikely to be a freak occurrence, that we can reject the null hypothesis and that there is a correlation. If you want to get the exact probability, you can double click on the box Hover over the probability and see the exact figure, in this case 8.9672 times 10 to the minus 12. A very small probability that our results are due to chance. The Speeman's rank data is summarised in the other box 
and we can see that it gives us the same two figures. In this case, the correlation coefficient is 0 0.983, and the significance again is below 0 0.01. We can also double click on this box, hover over the probability to get the exact probability, which in this case is 1.6775 times 10 to the minus 9. I hope you found this screencast helpful. For further information on how to use this test, or the theory behind it, then please consult the book. More information on how to use the program to perform the test can be found in our online web guides located in the Resource Centre.